Dubinski, Pulatov, and Kharchenko. Three Russians, one Ukraine. Could you tell us, please, why do you blame Mr. Putin directly? Because he made this possible. He made this. He created the situation. And from world. Yeah, he's the uh, main responsible person. Do you consider that the names of the persons whom you heard today, that you will see them in any one court, Russian or Dutch or whatever, do you believe in that? No. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but I don't care. I just want to know the truth and this is the truth. Yeah. Why was, was it so important for you? Um, justice. Yeah, justice for our children and all the other victims and the families that were left behind. But isn't it the justice when these people uh, will be persecuted? Of course, but uh, we do everything we can. And if that's uh, the, 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 the only thing that we can get, so be it. You are following this event since five years. Yes. How would you describe the feedback of Russia in, uh, during this investigation? Uh, I have no words for that because it, I think it's it's it's. Um, I can find the words in English, but uh, I think it's disgusting. They deny everything. They don't cooperate. Nothing. They lie. Create fake news. What are the examples of these fake news that uh, so disgusting for you, for instance? Yeah. That the yet is lying, yeah. Uh, that's the main issue for me. I, I, I get angry every time I see fake news. So if you don't believe that it will be, it will come to a, pr a court procedure, does it mean that today it's the the end for you? No, it's certainly not the end. This is a start. This is Why a do start. you need a start? Uh, there will be more people that will be. Uh, prosecuted later on yeah yeah you've, Prosec got, a, you've, got, you've got already information that uh, that would be no, uh, uh, more names not real information but they will there do is that later on. To name. yeah later and when the court starts have they have been told? the 9th of march next year yeah. and these people will be more high ranked uh, yeah they're searching for uh, i think they know names but they uh, don't have enough proof i guess mm -hmm. so then what do you feel today heard this news. Hi Michael. It's uh, a bit of a relief. Yeah, we wanted to know a date and we want to know names. We get it. I think it's, it's, this is a very good start. Yeah. Did they say anything about the possibility of these people being extradited from Russia? No, they're not going to do that. So there won't no. be anybody in the charge? No. They... Uh, they won't do that, no. And it's possible that uh, a lawyer will be here for them, but I, me personally, I don't think anyone will be here from Russia. Sorry for an inconvenient question. Could you tell us, not Dutch colleagues, once again, whom did you lose in this tragedy five years ago? My son Bryce, 23 years old, and his girlfriend Daisy, 20 years old. And your names? Silene Fredericks. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Sorry to